Hey guys and welcome to JTEPWP. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to protect your WordPress website with a free plugin called iThemes. On average over 30,000 WordPress websites are hacked every single day. I'm going to show you how to use iThemes to secure your site the right way. In the dashboard we're going to go to plugins, add new, do a search for iThemes and it's this one here by iThemes. It's got over 1 million activations, really good reviews and it's updated regularly. Install now, activate, and then we're gonna go into security, settings. When it opens, it gives you recommended settings. Press secure site, add your email address in here, activate network brute force protection, press close. I like to enable a few more options like away mode, configure settings. If I know there's no way I'm gonna be working on my site between 10 p.m and 6 a.m. I would set it here. Save changes. We're going to enable 404 detection, file change detection, SSL. So it's going to force uh, the use of the SSL certificate. We're going to enable system tweaks. If it's got pro on it, it means it's for the pro version only, so you won't be able to use those, but the free version's great. I'm also going to go into advanced. I'm going to change my admin user from ID of one to a different one. Change and it'll log us out and log back in again. I go back into my theme security settings, back to advanced. You don't want to change the content directory because that could really mess up your site. We will change the database table prefix. Select yes, save settings. And one more feature that's gonna make your site really secure, we're gonna hide the back end. Configure settings, enable hide back end feature. And what we're gonna do is have a custom URL. We can change that to whatever you want. Instead of it being wp-admin, it could be my secret login. But don't lose this, because otherwise you'll lock yourself out of the site. Save changes. And once you've done that, it's gonna give you your URL here. So make sure you copy this and keep it somewhere safe iThemes also has a malware scanner. Go to security settings, scroll all the way down, and we can scan the site for malware. Scan now. It's usually a pretty quick process. To see the results, we can go to the logs pages. And here we go, here's our site scan, and a type notice, it's come up clean, and when it was performed, who performed it, and the IP address that requested it. If someone does try and break into your admin, like Mr. Robot, for example, I can go to security, logs, notices, and there we can see that there was an invalid login attempt and the IP address that it came from. If the user tries to log in more than three times, it will block their IP address. One thing iThemes does do is send a lot of notifications. To fix this, we go to security settings, notification center, configure settings, and you can choose who gets the emails if someone tries to attack the site. Everybody that's an admin on this site is gonna get an email if someone tries to break in. What I do is I turn this off and make sure it only goes to me and not the other people of the site. I set up an alerts email address specifically to get these messages so they're not coming into my main inbox. If you wanna learn how to build websites or video editing, please check out my full courses at jtechwp.com forward slash courses. Well, that's it guys. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. If you found this useful, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.